back again welcome to the channel transition with Chini and we're just doing life to all my new subscribers welcome we are happy to have you here with the community and on the channel we do food gaming reviews sports a little bit of everything because we're just doing life right so Please remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends, and definitely leave a comment down below. Today on the channel, I'm going to show you guys how I go about making my burger. Alright? Real quick, real simple. I already had the ground beef here. Already seasoned up. To me, one of the secrets about making a proper burger is seasoning right so it's already seasoned so i'm gonna just drop it in here drop some i'm just making like two parties three parties all right and the rest i'll probably do a meatball or some kind of thing i have an egg here all right so of course I'm not going to use the whole egg and some breadcrumbs. No, the breadcrumbs and the egg is just basically going to bind right the mince meat and hold it together. Right? Now the thing about it is, guys, if you're doing if you want to use an egg and up in, in things like this, you must put black pepper. Alright? Or else your food is going to be fresh, it's going to taste eggy. The black pepper is going to kill that eggy taste and that eggy smell. Alright? So always remember that that's a very fun tip. And because this already has sufficient black pepper. You're not going to see me add it because I added it before when I was seasoning the, the ground beef, alright? But basically, this is what you do. My grill is already heating up a little bit, so I'll just raise the temperature. Alright, and I'm a bread here, which I will toast. And I have pineapple here which I will also grill right now you want to get the burger going first because that's the hard that would that take the that would take the longest so if you have a burger press what you want to do is I like the laughing cow for these for things like this because you get to uh, play with it and stuff Make it a fun thing. So we're gonna try to stop this burger. Alright, so this is her. This is her, and this one is a spicy, spicy creamy pepper jack, right? So we're gonna use both of them. One herb, one spicy creamy pepper jack. And 
then we're going to add the cheese and we're going to make so some of this I'm going to put in the burger and some of this I'm going to put on the bread So I know it's a great debate to have. It's an ongoing debate, a matter of fact, as to if pineapple belong on a burger or not. Guys, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you guys think on that debate. All right. Some say here, yeah, some say they're not having it. They don't like pineapples on burgers. I like. I love pineapples and mushrooms on my liver. I think they are amazing. Alright. Then you put the rest of burger. The rest of your meat. So you have a proper burger bat. Now of course when your grill is hot, as mine is, mine is right now, you simply push on the top. All good. Then I'm gonna melt as soon as the burger get hot and it, and it start to pull, the, the top will release easily. Alright. So I have a burger on here. I could also get my pineapple going. Just start it with the pineapple. Alright? Yeah guys, so tell me what kind of burgers you like, what kind of burgers, what you like on your burger, alright? I pretty much, I like to keep it simple, you know, I like keeping it simple, but of course, some people like stackers with um, cheese and stuff on it, I know really have cheese, I know a fan of um, egg and stuff on burgers, but this is the beautiful thing about food and our palates is that we have different tastes. Alright. So yeah, here we go. It's, I'm telling you guys the smell. <laughs> it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So this here is what we call quarter turn in the in the culinary industry. That's that's quarter turning right there. When you see your steak 
for your burger come out with these diamond cut grill marks that's called quarter turn in the culinary world all right see them lovely marks on them you see the lovely caramelization on the pineapple that's what you want to me that will bring out all the flavor in the pineapple and make a burger like spot on so of course burgers like this when you when you do it at home and you put it seasoning and stuff you don't need to put things like you want sauce and all these different things on it excuse me and you don't have to eat I, I don't like a bland burger that's just me all right anybody else and some people they're not gonna want that seasoning and stuff all right and I, we understand that everybody like i said everybody taste buds is different but i don't like a bland burger to me i want to taste that, that goodness true and true the burger so this is what we're gonna flip hope it's good Not too bad. I think I didn't press it enough. So, but it's still going to be amazing. Guys, I'm a kind of perfectionist in the kitchen, those who know me. So, I like to get things. You know what we say i like to get things correct on point and then after i can bring it in front of the camera but i was talking to one of my big brothers the other day and on his advice because what he was basically saying is that people want to see that they want to see the bloopers they want to see the mistakes you know trial and error we do together as a community so that's why i choose to go this way with this video all right so my first time doing it First time trying to put up, but generally this is how I make my burgers. Even though I do it with my hand or whatever the case is, but I will season it up and stuff like that. So yeah. Alright. See that? I'll make for the turn. Once you see them diamond marks, that's known. As quarter to them. Alright, guys, so let me know. And I'm not a burger person, I'm not a pizza person. I had a feel for it. I had a feel for those things, but today I feel for one, so I'm going all the way in. Yeah. So, guys, stay tuned. And you bring it back to the end that one show you the finished product of the book all right hi guys welcome back so now we have come to the end of the video all right bread toasted lovely caramelization on the on the pineapple and we roll Guys, tell me what you guys think. Another thing is another thing. Another thing with me, guys, is that I don't like um. I do not take my I do not have my burgers. My temperature for my burgers is always well done. All right, then you just get a burger set up. That's just tomatoes on the regular thing. If you have mushrooms, I like mushrooms on it too. While the burger is while while the grill is going and we have this burger out of the way, real quick. I'ma just try a hand version and see how it do. As opposed to the to the burger maker, right? So the burger maker is supposed to be the real deal. So we're gonna go with a hand, we're gonna go with a hand press and see how which one stand up better, the hand press or 
or the burger maker. All right. So let me see which one come out better. What's the thing going with you? The hand press? Hand press. Yeah. I think so too. Most of the times, the old school way will be the best way. Yeah. I mean, technology is good. Being sophisticated is good. The kitchen gadgets is all always good. But sometimes the way we do things back in the day, the way our grandmas used to do it, and mama used to do it, sometimes that just works better. All right, so. Guys, look out from tomorrow. I'm gonna drop the first rice video. All right. Now, my brother slash cameraman wouldn't be here. So that's gonna be one of them videos where you just see with the hands alone. You're not gonna see my hole like this one, all right? But I know it's gonna be amazing. I know you guys gonna appreciate it all the same. Down in the comment section, you guys can also tell me how you all like your burgers. Be them well, well done, blue, you know. It doesn't matter, we don't discriminate here on the channel. You know, to eat your own, everybody have their preference. And that's all right, too. So, yeah. But so far to me, I think my brother is right. And the handmade is kind of better than the, uh, than the one with the burger maker so far. Yeah. Now, anybody who are custom making burgers at home, you know you're going to break up a little bit. If you make your patties beforehand and freeze them, boom, there you go. Problem solved on the breakage. You know you're gonna get it to stand up even better on the grill. But so far so good, you know. All right, guys. So we we'll take a brief pause and we we'll bring it to the end of the video again. All right. So stay tuned. Back again. Here we go. And the big reveal completed. And yeah, there you have it, guys. Just as we said, the hand, the handmade stood up a little more sturdy than the the one with the burger maker. But thanks again for joining us. As we come to the conclusion of, of the video. And definitely look out for the next one. Don't forget, seven rice in seven days. Seven day rice challenge coming up. See you in the next one. Peace.